Hey, 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 it's the Pacific Northwest Geek here, Echo Zero, back with another Echo's Asylum. This time I am looking at the 2005 movie, Legion of the Dead. Got my notes here, as always. Um, this movie was directed by Paul Bells, Bells, Paul Bells, stars Courtney Clunch, probably saying her name wrong, Claudio Lynx, Bruce Boxlatner, who was also in Tron, the original Tron, I think it was in the sequel, he was also in Babylon 5, which I did watch a little bit of Babylon 5 back in the day, and Zach Galligan, best known as Billy, from the Gremlins movie. Um, I did enjoy this movie, um, it's, you know, just because it's an asylum movie, uh, basically the story is, is that they find this, um, in America, it's, uh, California, wherever it was, they find it, I forget where, if, even, even if they say where they find it, they find an Egyptian tomb containing this, uh, character whose name I, gee, I can't remember or pronounce, but I'll put it here. Yeah, I'm saying they're doing that again. Here. Played by, wait minute, she's played by, um. Claudia Lynx, and I guess she was um, not exactly a nice person, believed herself to be some kind of living deity or the daughter of some Egyptian deity, and was sent far away, ended up in America, and these two guys, they find her tomb, get killed, and then, then an investigation, this leads to some um, archaeologists or whatever they're called, to come in and look over it, and one of the women played by um, Courtney Clunch, I'm probably saying the name wrong, but she inadvertently, by reading up some kind of text, she awakens her, and she's got like these this small group of zombies. Um, and you know, in here it shows her having this great big army of of mummies. And then, um, she's I, I might have said zombie actually a little bit ago, but it's actually got this it shows her having a great big army of, of of mummies. No, it's just a small group. And for every life she takes, she basically is sucking all the life force out of them. The mummy's corpses that are left in the tomb start to glow. Has one base, and once she basically gets all the life she needs to take, they come back. She basically wants to have this godlike power, bring back this deity. And so she's going around doing all this stuff. She doesn't seem to speak any English. Um, and um, eventually. She even gets like the, this this guy who's supposed to be in charge, one of the guys who's supposed to be a professor, or whatever, to, to become her her follow here, her, like her uh, Ren Renfield. I'm probably saying his name wrong. If if you've seen Dracula, you remember Dracula had the one guy who ate bugs, who was like always master, master. Not quite like that. Although he does shave his head and strip down to nothing but a little towel around his waist and wears a kind of I think it's like an amulet or something. Um... And they want to basically kill a virgin because if you're going to summon some, bring something back, some evil entity or gain some power, it has to be a virgin. It can't be somebody who slept with like 20 people, 30 people, 40 people. It's got to be a virgin. Why does it have to be virgin blood? Why can't it be nympho blood? <clears throat> okay, anyways. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. But anyways... Um, the movie is, I'm going to see, how long is this movie? Uh, it doesn't say, let me look inside, see if it says on the case of the movie. Um, it's just, it was enjoyable. Zach Allegan is only in for a little bit. Um, Bruce, By uh, 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 box and uh, it's cool to see that him and both of these those both of them you know I've it's been a while to see either of those two in a movie and I can't even recall um with uh with Zach Galligan I want to say it was was it the second or third hatchet movie he was in uh Bruce Bach that no I cannot remember the last time I saw him. 
in a movie. Um, might have been because I think he was in Tron Legacy, the that that movie, that theatrical movie that was a sequel to the original. I think he was in that. Um, this really isn't a, a mockbuster because it doesn't really follow anything. Although you could say the Mummy movies that we had of the the late nineteen nineties, early two thousands, there was some stuff there. Um, one thing I saw like on Wikipedia, they, they were talking about Land of the Dead, and in terms of the name and the artwork. I don't know what's stretching it more. The name, Land of the Dead, is it because the initials are the same? But the artwork? I mean... Dogs outside barking, I don't know if you can hear that. I don't think so. Um, it's, just, it's an okay movie. It's a good movie. I, I, I enjoyed it. I don't know if I would suggest it because it might not be the cup of tea for people. And on, plus in terms of me and, and watching mummy movies, I've probably seen less mummy movies than I have seen werewolf movies. I know I have seen... The other one was Brandon Fraser. I have not seen the Tom Cruise one. I saw some with Lon Chaney Jr. that were made decades ago. Wasn't that a Frankenstein vs. Mummy one? If so, I think I saw it. Um, so we also might be a little bit short because I gotta go get some rest because I am going on a small road trip tomorrow and I won't be back until much later in the day so I'm gonna be gone most of tomorrow so um yeah my next review is probably by the way it's probably gonna be uh, this one but uh anyways I'm gonna go cuz I gotta get some rest for my uh, my road trip tomorrow um but anyways I am Echo Zero and I will see you on the flip side toodaloo